from Hollywood, it's everybody's favorite game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. I do this for us. Thank you, y'all, and welcome to season three of Tic Tac Go. Thank you, guys. Well, we had an awesome uh, tournament with uh, Timothy McClellan winning the whole thing and winning $50, but we're ready to start fresh now to see who are the next 10 people to play in the tournament by the end of the season. We're doing 65 episodes this season, like last season, and... Who are our first two opponents, Steve? And they are first from Orchard Park, New York. It is Garrison Newkirk. And the second player from Baltimore, Maryland, Alan Burns. Welcome, 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 y'all. And Al Alan, how do you feel about uh, this being a new season? Uh, well... It went very fast, I would say, and I can't believe it's already season three. All right. And are you anxious to get back in the tournament and do your thing? Hell yeah. Well, good luck to you. And our challenge, well, y'all both are challengers. Gary, uh, you're in the X-Bot because Random.org chose you to be in the X-Bot. Are you ready to go, Gary? California game for the NES is a piece of shit. I can't agree with you more. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, well for the viewers who have never played Tic-Tac-Doe, I'm going to have to explain the rules of Tic-Tac-Doe because many people screwed up on this. The object of the game is to answer questions on the game board and try to get three of your symbols in a row, whether it's across, up and down, or diagonally, okay? The outer boxes in the game are worth $2,000, and the center box, the more difficult box, is worth $3,000. The first player to get... Tic-Tac-Doe will win everything in the jackpot, and they'll go on to the bonus round to win more stuff, okay? Are y'all guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here are the nine categories, and they are... We have the weather, double or nothing, cooking, video games, Canada Day in honor of Ben's country, Canada. We have the j jump in category, gospels, the $10,000 question, and spelling bee. Now, as y'all know, those red categories are the special categories, and I'll explain what they're for when we get to them, okay? All right, uh, Gary, since you're in the X spot, go ahead and pick your first subject. Let's see what spelling bee's about. Going to start with spelling bee, okay. Your question on spelling bee is, it, spelling bee is this. You're going to say the word, you're going to spell it, then say it, okay? Gotcha. Today is a great day to clean the yard. Spell the word today. Today. T-O-D-A-Y. Today. Correct. Good job. Good start. $2,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Okay, Alan. Let's go with spelling bee as well. Okay, second time in the subject. Your question on the spelling bee, Alan, is this. The categories on Tic-Tac-Doe go in motion when they are shuffled. Spell the word motion. Motion. M-O-T-I-O-N. Motion. Correct. We have $4,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Okay, Gary. Take a look here. You know what, let's try again for the third time spelling bee. Y'all like that category, okay. And this is going to be a two-part question worth $3,000, and we will give you extra time because it is a two-part question, okay? Sounds good. I love color pencils. First, I want you to spell the word color, and the second uh, one, I want you to spell pencils, okay? Here's the time to think about those. Okay, Gary, which one you want to spell first? Color. All right, go ahead. Color. C-O-L-O-R. Correct. And pencils. Pencils. P-E-N-C-I-L-S. Pencils. Good job! Thank you. $7,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. 
Allen. Let's take in the tent with Canada today. All right. I know Ben is happy that his category got picked finally. Yeah! All right. Here's a question about Canada Day, um, Alan. Oh, boy. <laughs> what day is Canada Day celebrated on? Is it A, July 14th, B, July 4th, C, July 1st, or D, July 23rd? Thank God, Ben, you opened your mouth earlier about this. July 1st. Say it again. July 1st. Correct. Good job. All right, $9,000 in the pot. That was an easy one. Let's shuffle. Come on, jump in. Okay, Gary. $10,000 question for a block. All right, and this is a tough one, usually. Now, if you get this question right, Ben, um, not Ben, but Gary, you'll have $10,000 in the pot. The pot will be at $19,000, and you'll have a block, okay? Got it. What is the common term for an injury to the neck caused by a jerk of the head? Would it be known as a whiplash? Good job! That's right! That was easy. <laughs> a, a easy one, huh? Good job. $19,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Okay, Alvin. Uh, let's try cooking. Going cooking. Okay. Your question on cooking. First time that category. What is a Mirabelle? A Mirabelle. That's M-I-R-A-B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Is it A, a type of cheese? B, a small round plum in Europe? C, Elsie the cow's sister? Or D, a classic fruit tart? The fuck? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess a type of cheese. No, it's not a type of cheese, I'm sorry. If it's C, I'm gonna knock you out. It's not C, you're right, it's not C. It's a, sm it's a small round plum in Europe. A small round plum in Europe. Okay, we still have $19,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Mirabelle is... All right, Gary. Let's see what we got. Mm. Boy. Let's try the Gospels. Okay, if you get this question right, Gary, on the Gospels, it'll be tic-tac-toe. $21,000, you'll be the first champion of this season. Oh boy. Here's your question on the Gospels, Gary. After his death, Jesus was placed in whose tomb? Is it A, Nicodemus, B, Joseph's, C, his mother's, or D, the Bible did not say? I don't think the Bible said what tomb. Incorrect. It's actually Joseph's tomb. And you can find that scripture in Matthew, the 27th chapter, verses 59 through 60. So, you've been saved, Alan. All right, we still have $19,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Talk about dodging bullets. Okay, Alan. Uh, oh, my. $10,000 question. For the block. Get this $10,000 question correctly. And this jackpot will go up to $29,000. And you have a block. Here's your question. The $10,000 question. What's the largest country entirely within the Southern Hemisphere? Argentina. Not Argentina. I'm sorry. The answer, and Bundy Chick is going to kill you for this, is Australia. Oh, wow. Well. Australia. Okay. We still have uh, $19,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Okay, Gary. <laughs> you know what, Rod? Yes? Let's try double or nothing. Going with double or nothing. Okay. Your question on the double or nothing is this, uh, Gary. Just being nice to Alan. Okay. I'm what? not being the nice. There you go. Here's your question. What is the largest lake found completely within the United States? Largest lake. Five seconds. 
Uh, I don't know any lakes. I'm going to say Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario is wrong. The largest lake found completely within <laughs> in the United States. You know it, Alan? No, I would have guessed Michigan. Lake Michigan would have been right. <laughs> Yes, Lake Michigan, yes. Okay, so we still have $19,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Oh, my. Okay, Alan. Oh, jeez. Why can I never get a double or nothing when I need it? Cooking. Going cooking. cooking again. Well, at least it will be for the block, Alan. Now, here's a question right. on cooking. Uh. What would you put on your frying pan before you made something like fried eggs to... To keep them from sticking. Is it A, oil, B, olives, C, water, or D, nothing? Oil? Oil is correct. Good job. $21,000 in the pot. We have three boxes left. $21,000 in there, and we shuffle. Talk about living dangerously. Okay, Gary. Spelling B. Okay. Yeah. For the block, or it ain't no block, it's just for another box. Your question on spelling bee, Gary, is this. For, okay. for every action, there's a reaction. Spell the word action. Action. A-C-T-I-O-N. Action. Correct. Good job. Okay, we have $23,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. What is spelling Alan? Damn it. Gonna have to take the Gospels. Go with the Gospels for the block. Your question on the Gospels. A miracle. How many times did Jesus ask John, Lovest thou me? I'll repeat it. How many times did Jesus ask John, Lovest thou me? Is it A, never, B, twice, C, thrice, or D, once? Twice? Not twice, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's thrice. Meaning three times. Okay, we have $23,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Well, it's coming in, you'll come up. Gary. Let's try the cooking. All right, get this question right on cooking, Gary. It'll be tic-tac-toe, $25,000, and you'll be the first champion, okay? Bring it on, man. Which of the following is not usually put on hot chips? French, and, the, and when I say hot chips, they're French fries, Gary, okay? All right. Which of the following is not usually put on hot chips as an added flavoring in most restaurants? Is it A, coconut, B, pepper, C, salt, or D, chicken salt? Coconut. Tic Tac Doe, good job! Oh, totally easy. <laughs> Nicely done, Gary. Well, you got $25,000, and you're going to go ahead and uh, play against that dragon shortly. Well, Alan, there's a lot of time for this season, okay, man? Yep. We'll yes. definitely have you back for um, another game, okay? I will be back. I don't have my microphone with me. I'll get the microphone during the commercial break. Let me open the package. There it is. You ready to beat the dragon, Gary? I'm ready. Let's go ahead and play beat the dragon. Well, good job being our first champion, Gary. How does it feel? It feels like it actually feels not really much difference. All right. Well, you know the rules. We have new rules for the Beat the Dragon game. As you know, we have nine numbers on the board, and the object is for you to reach $10,000 or more or get the ticking attack before seeing this ugly jerk in number five. Reach $10,000 or more. Steve, we have prizes for him, don't we? Uh, yeah, we do. So let's, let's see what we have. <laughs> a queen bed sleep set, a spa, a billiards table, another, another spa, a dining room dinnerware, a Montego Bay, and it's worth $26,876. Oh, oh, I don't want that billiards table. I know, I noticed that's what you were saying woo about. Now, Gary, here's the thing now. If you get the tick and attack in any of your picks, we're going to give you a $30,000 bonus and a shot at a new car, okay? Now, here's the new rule that I have this season, okay? You see how that jackpot is $30,000 right now for the uh -huh. tick and attack? Yeah. If you get... 
if you manage, now listen, if you manage to get the tick and the tack on your first two picks, I will double that jackpot to $60,000. Okay, are you ready to go? <laughs> yep. All right, let's cover up that board. <laughs> and you can get help from your audience. Seven. Going for number seven. Let's see what's in number seven. Five thousand dollars. Now that uh, now that double jackpot is out. Okay, you got five thousand dollars. You want to stop or go? Let's keep going. Okay. Good luck. Two. Let's see what's in number two. There's the tag. Find a tick and you'll get the jackpot plus the car. Eight. Or plus the chance at the car. You're going for eight. It's eight. tick. It's tick behind number eight. He's going first. It's tick behind number eight. There's a thousand dollars. Now you need four thousand dollars or tick. Do you want to stop or go? Let's keep going. Number 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 six. Number six. You need four thousand dollars, but we would really like to see the tick. Let's see what's in number six. That's three thousand dollars and nine thousand dollars. Now this will be your last pick if you continue to go. But you can take the $9,000 and stop playing if you want to. Stop or go? Nine. He's going. He needs $1,000 for the prizes. A tick will give him a $30,000 bonus and a shot at the car. Let's see what's in number nine. You did it. Good job, Gary. Good. Nicely done, Gary. Well, that's $10,500. Where's the dragon, y'all? Number one, four. Well, let's see. One and three. So that prize package is $37,376. Gary, good job. Thank you. We're going to add your previous winnings of $25,000. And that gives you a total of $62,376. And you get to play again, Gary. And we're going to take a quick commercial break and pay some bills. And when we come back, we'll do game two. Don't go away. <laughs> what you laughing at, Gary? I have to I have to see what you're laughing at. I don't know why he is. Why is he laughing? He farted. And now we return to Tic Tac Doe with Rodney. Hey, guys. I finally got my microphone with me. Um... Alan, who is a Gary's next opponent? Well, Gary's next opponent hails from Baltimore. His name is Stephen Klebarowski. Welcome, 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 Steve. Thank you, Rodney. Good to be here. All right, you ready to play? I shall do my best. And do we have Gary back? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm just brushing my cat. Okay. He's brushing his pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the nine new categories, and they are, we still have Canada Day, Double or Nothing, 1990s, Novel Actors and Actresses, Game Shows, Opponent's Choice, 1980s, Bonus Category, I will point out in the Bonus Category, I will give you a three-part question, answer the three-part question, you'll have another turn immediately, and we have Zoology. Okay, Gary, this is your second game, which category do you want to start with? Okay, take a look at that Skype screen. Right, let me turn the computer around so I can get a good look while I'm brushing kitty cat. Brushing the pussy. Uh, you go brush your pussy. I already did that. Oh. Shave it too. Yup. Okay, here we go. Okay, y'all, do you see that um, no vow actress? I do. All right. This no vow actress is also a model, and she was once married to Billy Joel. Name her. Five Chris, seconds. Chris. Chris. Christina Brinkley? 
That's uh, wrong. It's wrong. You said Christina. Christy Brinkley. It's Christy Brinkley. How did you miss that? It was not playing, Bob. Yeah, it's Christy Brinkley. Yeah, it's not Christina, but Christy. Okay, we are shuffle. Okay, uh, Steve. No vowels, actors and actresses, please. Okay, second time in the category. Try this one, Steve. Is the is the next one? You see that one, uh, Steve? Yep. This novel actress played Sue Ellen Ewing on Dallas. Name her. Linda Gray. Yes, sir. That's right. Good job. Here we go. We have $2,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. All right, Gary. All right. I'm going to try and redeem myself with the no vowels, actors, actresses. Third time in that category. Let's check this this one out. Take a look at this one, Gary. You see that one, Gary? Yeah. This novel actress was in the movie Freaky Friday and was also co-star with Arnold Schwarzenegger in True Lies. Name her. Jamie... Jamie Lee Curtis. Good job. That's right. $4,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Steve. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's give a shot with 1980s. Going well, to 1980s. Okay, your question on the 1980s is this. All right, this is about uh, music lyrics in the 1980s, okay? Oh, boy. And I'll read this music lyric. You have to tell me what song is this from, okay? Okay. Our life together is so precious together. We have grown, we have grown. Although our love is still special, let's take our chance. What is the name of this song? Is it A, tell her about it, B, missing you, C, just like starting over, or D, against all odds, take a look at me now? Ooh. Oh, I've probably heard of this song. Five seconds. I'll say against all odds. Incorrect. <laughs> it's uh just like starting over. I've heard that. In a yeah, while. just like starting over. Okay, we still have four thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Gary. What do you say, Kitty? All right, let's see what you got. Hmm. Try the '80s myself. Going with the 80s. Okay, your question on the 80s. On the popular TV sitcom, Three's Company, what was Jack's last name? Is it A, Klein, B, Richmond, C, Tripper, or D, Ritter? Can you just repeat the last names, please? Say again. Can you please repeat the last names? Okay. Uh, is it A, Klein, B. Richmond, C. Tripper, or D. Ritter? i never seen this show, but for a while, guess would be Klein? Not Klein. It's, it's Tripper. Jack Tripper. Oh, that's a day tripper. Indeed. Yeah. All right, we still have $4,000 in the pot. We shuffle. <coughs> All right, Steve. No vowels, actors, and actresses. Okay, your question on the no vowel actors and actresses. Take a look at this one. Mm -hmm. 
You see that one? Yes. This Novell actress played Sandra Clark on the 80s sitcom 227. Name her. Jackie Harry? That's correct. Good job. Right. Or Jackie Harry, we will accept that too. $6,000 in a pot, we shuffle. Gary. Shows. All right, it's going to be a two-part question worth $3,000, and we will give you the extra time because it is a um, two-part question, okay? Uh-huh. First, I want you to give me the original host of Jeopardy, and also I want you to give me the announcer of the host of the show Jeopardy, okay? Give me the original host and the announcer of the uh, first edition of Jeopardy, okay? Here's the extra time. Okay, which one you want to give me first, Gary? The original host or the announcer? I'm going to take a guess at host. Okay, who was the original host? Oh, man. Five seconds. Jack Barry? No, it wasn't Jack Barry. I'm sorry. Art Fleming. It was Art Fleming. Yeah. And who was the announcer, Alan? I don't know that one. I, I know it. Who, who was it, Steve? Don Pardo? It was Don Pardo, yes. Okay, yeah. we still have $6,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Oh, an opportunity. Steve. Mm. Okay, 1990s for the win. All right, Steve, you get this question right on the 1990s. It'll be tic-tac-doe, $9,000, and you'll be the new champion, Steve. And it's a two-part question, and we will give you the extra time to think about it. First, one of the highest money makers of the nineteen of nineteen ninety, what romantic comedy movie starred Richard Gere and Julia Roberts? Is it A, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, B, Runaway Bride, C, Ezek to Eden, or D, Pretty Woman? And the second question: Between April and July of nineteen ninety four, a mass killing of hundreds of thousands of uh, tutsis. That's Tutsis, T-U-T-S-I-S, occurred in which country? Is it A, Cameroon, B, Mali, C, Algeria, or D, Rwanda? Here's the extra time to think about it. All right, Steve, which part do you want to answer first? The first one, I think it's Pretty Woman. That's correct, and for Tic Tac Doe and nine thousand dollars between April and July of nineteen ninety four, a mass killing of th of hundreds of thousands of Tutsis occurred in which country? Is it A. Cameroon, B. Mali, C. Algeria, or D. Rwanda? I have no idea on this. I'm gonna take a guess, and I'm gonna say. Algeria. Incorrect. I'm sorry. Is it Rwanda? That's correct, Alan. Good. All right. Rwanda. Gary has been saved. We still have $6,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Gary. Zoology. All right. It's going to be a two-part question, and we will give you the extra time. This is for a block. First, how long can the tentacles on a Portuguese man of war grow? Is it A, 150 feet, B, 50 feet, C, 100 feet, or D, 20 feet? And the next one, which of these animals has the longest lifespan? Is it A, a tuatera, B, excuse me, B, a parrot, C, a rockfish, or D, an Asian elephant? Here's the extra time to think about that. All right, Gary, which part you want to answer first? First of all, I'll try the first one. How long can the tentacles on a Portuguese man-of-war grow? Is it A, 150 feet, B, 50 feet, 
C100 feet or D20 feet? 150. 150 feet is correct. And for the center box, which of these animals has the longest lifespan? Is it A, a tuatera, B, a parrot, C, a rockfish, or D, the Asian elephant? Would be that fish, the rockfish? Incorrect. Mm -hmm. It's a tuatera. And a tuatera, the tuatera can live up to 70 years. It mm -hmm. is, and to, for the record, a tuatera is a lizard or a reptile. That's what that is. Okay, we have um, $6,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Here's your animal fact of the day. Yep. All right, Steve. <laughs> okay, 1990s once again for the win, hopefully. A again, same category and same situation. Get it right, and it'll be tic-tac-toe and $9,000, and you're going to be the new champion, okay? Mm-hmm. First... What TV series that made its debut in 1994 revolved around friends living in Manhattan? That's the first one. And the second one, who wrote and published the well-known novel Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 1997? Here's the extra time to think about those. Hi, right, Steve. Your first question, or which part do you want to answer first? The first one, please. What TV series that made its debut in 1994 revolved around friends living in Manhattan? Friends? That's correct. And for Tic Tac Doe and $9,000, who wrote and published the well-known novel Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in 1997? J.K. Rowling? Tic Tac Doe, good job! Nicely done, Steve. You have $9,000, and you're going to go ahead and beat the dragon shortly. Well, we'll start our leaderboard, Gary. You have $62,376, and our congratulations, Gary, okay? Yes, better than nothing. All right. Well, Steve, let's go after that dragon, okay? Right, and, and I finally have my microphone, so here we go. Here we go. Okay, we have those nine numbers, and let's bring out the board. And if you're ready, Alan, tell us what prizes Steve is in for. All right, Steven, you could win the following prizes. It's a bedroom group and sleeve set, a trip to Santa Fe, New Mexico, a trip to Venice, a queen bed and sleeve set, dining room and dinnerware, and a trip to Portugal. That's all worth $31,229. All right, Steven, if you manage to get the tick and attack on any of your picks, we'll give you a $35,000 bonus. Remember, if you get it, Tick and tack on your first pick, uh, Steve, will double that $35,000 bonus to $70,000, okay? All right. All right, let's cover up that board. And start picking. Number eight. Let's see what's behind number eight. That's $15,000, so that double bonus is out. You want to stop or go? <laughs> go, please. All right. Minus $10,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to try number two. Let's see what's the number two. Oh, no. Welcome back, Dragon. I hate to say welcome back to you because you do nothing but steal away money and prizes. Anyway, Steve, I'm sorry about that. Let's see where the tick and attack was on the board. Five and six. One oh, and man. three. I knew I should have went with oh, oh, oh. I should have went with three. Stop it. You're one space. Yeah, straight across the board. Well, that means wow. that will make the jackpot $40,000 or $80,000 if they pick Tick and Tack right away. And we'll all take a commercial break and pay some bills. And when we come back, we'll do another game. Don't go away. Tic-tac-doe and Rodney. Well, we got to see the dragon for the first time this season. Well, oh. hopefully he will not come back again. Alan, who is his next opponent? Well, 
Paul Stevens' next opponent is somebody we all love very much. And so does Steven, because it's his mother. Hey, Christine. Oh, hello there, Mr. Flippin. You Good anxious? Good evening, everyone. You anxious to start in this game? I am. I'm looking forward to going against my son. All right. Well, let's reveal those nine categories, and they are. Good luck to the both of you. Good luck. Thank you. All right, we have, we have games, Double or Nothing, Old Testament, Canada Day, Human Body, Opponent's Choice, Mixed Words, Bonus Category, and Comedians. Okay, uh, Steve, uh, where would you like to start? I would like to start with Comedians. Go on Comedians. Okay, your question on Comedians. This is a long question, so bear with me. I'll try who has a TV show but started with jokes like, Honey, we've been going out a long time, and on every date I end up spending hundreds of dollars, and I only get to spend a few hours with you. Then she, then she looked at me with those sweet eyes and say, It's because I'm a hooker. Is it A, Anthony Clark, B, Bob Hope, C, Milton Berle, or D, Norm MacDonald? I'm just going to take a guess. Five I'm seconds. Gonna, I'm going to try Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald knows is right. Good job. It's weekend of feet. There you go. We have uh, $2,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Christine. Let's go with mixed words, please. Okay, take a look at that Skype screen. I'm going to type you a mixed word. You see that mixed word, Christine? I do. Unscramble these letters to find out where you throw your dirty clothes at. Hamper. That's correct. Good job. We have $4,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. Hi, right, Steve. Let's do comedians again. Okay, a two-part question worth three thousand dollars and we will give you extra time because it's a two-part question. Alright, Steve, for that center box, I want you to give me two of the four comedians on the NBC sitcom The Golden Girls. Two of the four comedians on the NBC sitcom The Golden Girls. Here's the extra time. All right, Steve, give me two of the four comedians on the NBC sitcom, The Golden Girls. Betty White. That's one. And Beatrice Arthur. That's two of them. Good job. And the other two is Rue McClanahan and Estelle Getty. Oh, yep. Yeah, Estelle Getty. $7,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, um, uh, Christine. Human body for the block. Okay, human body for the block. Your question on the human body, Christine. Which of these is another term for white blood cells? Is it A, leukocytes, B, veil, C, dendritic, or D, platelets? I'll repeat it again. Which of these is another term for white blood cells? Is it A, leukocytes, B, veiled, C, dendritic, or D, platelets? Is it D, platelets? No, not platelets. It's the uh, leukocytes. Leukocytes. Oh. Okay, we have $7,000 in the pot. We shuffle. That was my guess. Mm -hmm. Shuffle. All right, Steve. Well, I guess I'll go with mixed words for the win. Okay, get this question right on mixed words, Steve. It will be tic-tac-go. Um... Uh, $9,000, and your total will be at $18,000 in cash. Good. Take a look at this mixed word. Okay. 
You see that mixed word, Steve? Yep. All right. Unscramble the letters to a social media website that was founded by Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook. Good job, and that's the win. Oh. Another nine thousand dollars. So that gives you. That gives you eighteen. Yep. I said I love her. Come on, isn't that good enough? Smart ass son. Yep. That gives you eighteen. Good luck at the strike. Yep. I love you. That gives you eighteen thousand dollars, Steve, and our congratulations, Christine. You know, there's a lot of time to get some money this season, right? That's right. It's very early. Very early. More games. So we will definitely have you back. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck, Steven. All right, Steve. You ready to go back at that after that dragon? Yeah, I am a one root revenge. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do this. Come on. Get yeah. that. Come on. Take Get that. 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 Get all right, and we're hey, ready. This is my turn to talk. Yeah, we're ready. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, Alan, tell me what prizes is Steve could Steve be in for? Steve, you could be in for the following. It's a, what do you know, dining group and dinner, a living room group, a petite grand piano, bedroom group sleep set, a grandfather clock, and a spa. That's all made at 28000 Was that one sixty-seven? Seven sixty-seven. Seven When those stupid screen things are in my way, you can't read. Yeah, it's 28767 And Steve, if you get the ticket and attack on any of your picks, we give you a $40,000 bonus and a shot in a new car. Get it on your first two picks, we give you an $80,000 bonus, okay? All righty, let's do it. Here we go. All right, Steve. Start picking. Seven. Let's see what's in number seven. There's fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, you want to stop or go? That is pocket change. Let's go. Okay. One. Let's see what's in number one. There's five thousand dollars. You had sixty-five hundred. You need thirty-five hundred for the prize package. Stop or go? Go. All right. Number. Okay, the, is $3,500 in number eight? There's $2,500, you have $9,000. Stop or go? I'm going all the way. All right, you need only $1,000. Five. Let's see what's behind number five. Nicely done, $10,000 exactly. All right. Good job, Steve. Let's see where the tick and attack and the dragon was. Nine. Oh. We have four, six, and then we have three for the dragon. So that's another. Yeah. Yep. That's another $38,767. Nicely done, Steve. We're going to add your previous winnings of $18,000. That gives you a total of $56,767. And we're going to take another break, and when we come back, we'll see if we have time to do another game. Don't go away. All right, and I think it seemed like we got time to do one more game. We're getting right into it. Who is uh, in the O position now, um, Gary? In the O position is none other than our champion's challenger, Mr. Alan Burns. Hey, Alan, are you ready to do this again? Yes, it was so nice for the producer to invite me back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because the rule state. Um, you have to sit out for one game, and you sat out for two already, so you're able to come back. Excuse me. And Steve is um, our reigning champion. Here's our nine subjects, and they are... We have movies, secret category, Canada Day, the 50 states, Price is Right, 
bonus category, superheroes, jumping category, and who am I? Give me a second here. And uh, Steve, go ahead and choose your first subject. The 50 states. Okay, 50 states. Okay. Take a look at this a U.S. state here. Okay. Do you see this state? 10-4. Okay. After World War II, Los Alamos and Albuquerque had many new laboratories. Hundreds of highly educated scientists and engineers move in this state. Name this state. New Mexico. Correct. Good job. We have $2,000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Alan. I will try the 50 states. All right, two-part question worth $3,000, and we will give you extra time. Give me a second. Give you two states here. Here we go. Take a look at these two states. Okay. You see these two states? And the buzzer went I... off, so whoever wins this game will do the Beat the Dragon game in the next episode, okay? Alright. And yes, I do see these two. Alright. First, the first ball... Excuse me. Let me repeat that. The first bow weevil found in this state in on display at the Pen Pendleton District Agricultural Museum. Name that state. In the uh, second state, this state has the lowest population of all the 50 states. Name it. Here's the extra time. Which part you want to answer first? The first one. All right. First, the first bow weevil found in this state in, on display at the Pendleton District Agricultural Museum. Name that first state at the top. South Carolina. That's correct. And the state at the bottom, this state has the lowest population of all the 50 states. Name it. Maybe I should move there. Uh, Wyoming. Good job. Nicely done. We have $5,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle. Hi, right, Steve. Let's give a shot with The Price is Right. Okay, your question on The Price is Right. In the bonus spin on the big wheel, how much are the two green sections worth? Is it A, $10,000, B, $5,000, C, $2,500, or D, $15,000? I'm going to say 10000 That's correct. Good job. $7,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Oh, boy. All right, uh, Alan. Oh, Let's go with movies. Movies, movies for the block. Okay. Your question on the movies, Alan, is this. Released in 1957... Which film takes place almost entirely in a jury room where the panel of jurors have retired to consider their verdict? Is it A, runaway jury, B, the verdict, C, judgment at Nuremberg, Nuremberg or D, 12 angry men? God. Um, B. Which one? Letter B. The verdict, incorrect, mm -hmm. is 12 angry men. No idea. All right. All right. We still have $7,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Something tells me you're going to get very lucky here. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Steve. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Well, I'm going to have to I'll take a shot with the, the price is right. <laughs> you would. You scared of that bonus category. Okay. Your question uh, on The Price is Right is this. In which of the following unstaged games do contestants avoid picking an item listed for a specific price? Is it A, the bonus game, 
B, Danger Price, C, Any Number, or D, Switcheroo? Danger Price. That's correct. Good job. We have $9,000 in the pot. We shuffle. I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, Alan. Gonna have to go with the prices right. For A block. Okay, your question on the price is right, Alan. From 1998 to 2008, what did price producers do to make the card game in three strikes easier to play? Is it A, they added two strikes to the game and changed it to five strikes? B, they retired the game? C, they, they spotted the contestant two numbers in the price of the car? Or D, they removed the two strikes from the game? I believe it was they removed it, the two strikes. That's correct. Good job. All right, $11,000 in the pot. We shuffle. Now I worry again. All right, Steve, it's, it looks like dual implication here. Yep. I'm going to go with movies for the win. All right, very important. This is for the block in the win. Get this question right on movies. You'll have $13,000, and your wins will go up to $69,767, and you'll play another game tomorrow, okay? Okay. Here's your question. On, on to my balls. Yep. Here's your question on movies. Which of the following films is not set during the Vietnam War? I repeat. Which of the following films is not set during the Vietnam War? Is it A... 84C Mopic, B, The Thin Red Line, C, The Boys and Company C, or D, The Deer Hunter? Oh, my God. Oh. Can you repeat the choices one more time, please? A, 84C Mopic, B, The Thin Red Line, C, The Boys and Company C, or D, The Deer Hunter? I'm going to say the first choice. 84C Mopic? Yes. Incorrect. Oh. It's the thin red line. The oh, thin red know. line. Okay. We have $11,000 in the pot. We shuffle. 50 stage price is right. No jumping. 50 stage price. Jumping, jumping, jumping. All right. All right, uh, Alan, you got what you wanted, I think. He said 50 states. <laughs> He's going with 50 states. Okay. 50 states. All right. You get this question right on 50 states, Alan. Now, you said you'll be available tomorrow um, early, right? I should be available probably mid-afternoon, early evening at the most. Okay. You'll play your game tomorrow, okay? Okay. If you get this correct you quest Steve, question right, okay? All right. Here's your question on the 50 states. And this is for thirteen thousand dollars. Take a look at this state. You see it? I do. The piles of rocks on this state's highest point are known of as rock journeys or sheep shares monuments. And according to legend, were piled there by sheep herders as a way to pass the time while they tended their flocks. For a tic tac doe and thirteen thousand dollars, name this state. North Dakota. Tic tac doe. Good comeback, Alan. You have thirteen thousand dollars, and um, if, and you'll be playing the Beat the Dragon game on tomorrow. Okay. Boy. All right, Steve. You're going home with fifty-six thousand seven hundred and sixty-seven dollars, and I'm gonna start a leaderboard. Okay. All right. You really good. gave me a run for my money on that one. Yeah. So, Alan, you'll play your game tomorrow afternoon, and we'll, I'm going to set it out there. I'm going to set an announcement out there tomorrow to see who's yeah, going to... Yeah, you updated on the time I get home and all. Yeah, to uh, see who all is going to be on the call tomorrow, okay? All right, did y'all guys have a good time? I had a heart attack, but other than that, yes. Yep, and uh, Canada Day was only used once in the game. <laughs> so, I guess nobody was in... <laughs> yep. All right. Well, guys, that's the category now. <laughs> yep. Well, this concludes um tic tac doe, guys. Did y'all have a good time? Yes. Though your mom ran away. Where'd she go? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is Writing 1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, continue to su support and subscribe to my channel. And y'all take care, everybody. Goodbye.